wanted to take a couple of minutes and talk to you guys about what's going on in the world. Before we do that, I want to introduce you to Lauren Wittig. She is a mortgage lender with Leader One, one of my preferred lenders. So I'm going to be asking her some questions about the mortgage interest rates here in a couple of minutes. Um, but first of all, I wanted to tell you guys that our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family um, as we are going through this lovely pandemic that we are in the middle of. Um, I don't have a lot of advice other than to listen to the advice of the professionals. Make sure that you're washing your hands frequently. Um, you have hand sanitizer. Try to give yourself distance from other people um, and just protect yourself and your families. Um, as far as the current clients that I'm working with, if we are looking at houses, I will have my handy dandy Lysol spray with me. I'll be spraying down doorknobs, lock boxes, keys, light switches, and everything during the showings. And I'll also give you some little bottle of hand sanitizer that you can utilize so you don't have to worry about that. If you have thought about selling a house, please don't let this stop you. There are a lot of measures that we can do to make sure that your house is safe, your family is safe, and still allow showings. So if that is something that you have thought about, please just reach out and talk to me. We can go over those different things that we can do to make sure that you and your family are safe. So that being said, um, you know, we've all heard a lot in the last 24 hours about the Fed cutting the rates and all of those different things. So uh, I've had a lot of questions. Lauren's obviously had a lot of questions. So I wanted to just take a couple of minutes and have her go over some things with us. So thanks for taking the time, Lauren. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Austin. Yeah. Stopping by the office. <laughs> <laughs> so my first question, um, again, is about the rates that the Fed just cut. So what does that mean for us as consumers on a day-to-day -day basis? And what does that mean for the mortgage interest rates? Great question. I think everybody and their mom has that question right now. So um, I believe everybody in my business or colleagues of mine, we've all been completely blown up by everybody calling and asking, is my rate going to be 0% now? The answer to that is no. So um, when the Fed cuts the rate, it's not directly um, indicated by what the mortgage rates are. If you look at the past history, it's normally always been about two to three percent difference. So if the Fed rate is at zero, then you can always count on the mortgage interest rate being about three percent or higher. Um, what we have been through recently with the coronavirus and the pandemic and everything that's going on um, across the country, the globe, I mean everything in China affects us too. Mm -hmm. um, they, it's just been crazy. It's actually been one of the craziest things that a lot of People have seen, I've reached out to people that have been in the business 20 years. Um, they are just mind blown by all of this as well too. So um, I believe all of our emotions have been very up and down during this time period. I know everybody's on high anxiety too, but we're always looking at what's best for your actual mortgage. Now, um, when it comes down to the, the rates cutting and what does that do for us, what the Fed rate did last night was it lowered you know, your credit card interest rate. It might not be 16%, it could be 14% now. Um, HELOCs, it'd be a good time for you to go look at those. Car loans, things like that. Those rates are gonna be a little bit lower. What we were missing was a lot of mortality in the market right now. Um, with the scare of the stock market, the people that were putting so much money into the bonds and everything that helped purchase all of our mortgages, they saw so much happening with this little mini refi boom. We only had a short a minute, minute with it, like maybe 48 hours, a little bit more than that, where rates were super low and everybody just, it, they backed up. They said, we don't know what's happening. We are scared to death. We're gonna sit on the sidelines and see what's going on. So the best part about the Fed rate cut was that they did put some money into the mortgage-backed securities, which will, in end, help lower the rates again to where we would like to see them. Um, a lot of people don't know, but last week was really traumatic in, in the mortgage industry. Um, I'm talking, we were quoting someone on a refinance or a purchase on Monday, and their rate was a whole point or higher on Friday. It was rough. Wow. Yeah, it was really rough. Yeah, sounds like it. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so we know that the interest rates are at our a historic low. So does that mean, like I've heard, had people quoted at 3% mortgage interest rate. So is that the case for every person? And then on top of that, you know, you mentioned the differences, you know, I've heard in a day it can change nine times. Mm -hmm. So how is that affecting you and the clients that you're actively working for that are looking to purchase a home? Yeah, exactly. So um, I'll give you kind of a real life scenario. Um, 
so when we had that that small refi boom about two weeks ago um, rates were then at the historical low. Right now they're not, because last week all we did was see this trend upward where we none of us could catch it. And I believe on Friday, what we do is Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are the ones that purchase a lot of our, our loans. They, for the world, basically, for the United States, those are the ones that, that help that. They repriced their interest rate, I believe on Friday, 10 times. Friday or Thursday, which is crazy. That's unheard of for them to reprice. There was one point where I went in, priced a loan, and 15 minutes later, it was completely different. It was really hard for me to track that, and even to know when to lock it, especially whenever I'm giving an estimate to someone that's purchasing right now. It's kind of really hard for them. Um, but yeah, to answer the second part to your question, not everyone's gonna have the same interest rate, and it's all based off product, which kind of program you're gonna go after. If you're looking to refinance, if you're looking to purchase. Um, if you're looking to refinance right now and do some cash out, it's always going to be a little bit higher just because a cash out refinance holds a little bit more risk. You're taking some of the equity out of your home to pay off some of your current debt. Not saying don't do it. I've had um, multiple clients right now that were doing a cash out refinance. Their payment's staying the same, but they're paying off you know, 30000 in credit card debt, saving $900 a month, and got rid of all of their 18% credit cards. Interest rates at 3.625. It's a win-win for them. Now, if you're planning on moving in the next year or so, I would not waste your time with a refinance right now. Um, this would be the great time to call you and, and start getting going on. What are the things to work on? Especially while you're in quarantine. <laughs> yeah, good time to start doing that for sure. Get get the, go, don't buy toilet paper anymore, everyone. Go to Home Depot, go get your paint brushes, go get all the stuff to fix the wall or, the you know railings, things like that that need to get done. This is a great time to do it. We're all gonna be stuck, so might as well start working on it. Uh, trust me, my husband has a honeydew list major right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I heard it's not time to run out and refinance, mm -hmm. to really talk through with um, a professional, yeah, preferably definitely. A, a lender that can compare all of that stuff for you to see if that's gonna be the best situation for you. Um, so as far as that interest rate, you know, I mentioned the 3%, is that, and you, I know it fluctuates, but what are some of the things, especially for a buyer, that affect what interest rate they're going to get? Credit. Credit is the biggest factor in an interest rate. Um, I could quote someone, same type of property, same program, at a 680 credit score and an 800 credit score, and their interest rate be majorly different. So right now, again, if you are a buyer and you're working with a mortgage professional, ask them, hey, can I look through my full credit report? What is it on there that I could be working on while I'm looking for a house? We've got clients out there that are just trying to find the perfect house. They've been looking for a while. It's a great time for them to really build on that credit, pay down some of that debt, maybe see if there's a collection or something on there that you didn't know about. Um, it's a good time to be working on that too while you're in quarantine. As long as you get someone on the phone, I mean, I'm sure they're gonna be working on, on at the at their house. So. Okay, yeah. great. Well, I hope this information helps you guys. If you have any additional questions that we didn't address, please don't hesitate to reach out to either one of us. Mm -hmm. We're always here to help answer any questions. Um, make sure that you stay safe, and we hope to see you soon once the quarantine is all lifted. Yeah, stay healthy, everyone, and uh, yeah, good luck with staying home with your kids. Cause I know that's a big one on everybody's mind right now too. Absolutely. All right. Thank you guys.